Now we have a few new screens for activity, home, profile, search, and upload. So we have all the screens uploaded for to create a bottom tab navigator. Uh, but we have no way to get to any of those screens outside of the main homepage screen. So how do we get to these other screens? So what we're going to do is we're going to use React Navigation, which makes it super simple to navigate between pages and programmatically and through a, like a parent navigation system. Now you could create your own navigation system based on global state and handling which page the user's on, but what React Navigation does is it handles that for you, but it also uh, handles the transition, so like the slide back and forth. If we want to go back to the sell, sell that app, we could, I can show you what I'm talking about. So when it goes from each page, there's no act, there's no like real slide back and forth, just like there isn't in the regular app. But if we go to say location, it's super slow because I'm in uh, debug mode. But if uh, otherwise, like you can see the messages, see how it slides back and forth, and then also leveraging the bottom tab navigator and the top navigator. Uh, we don't have to position the screen a little bit differently. We don't have to style it so that this is always at the bottom. Uh, React Navigation handles that. And what we're going to use at first is this Create Bottom Tab Navigator. Now there's a couple different ways you could do this. They actually have a styling of, they also have the Create Bottom Material Tab Navigator. If we scroll down, it's in here somewhere, believe me. Um, oh, it's at the top right here. Create material bottom navigator and then create material top navigator. So you can create a top navigator or a bottom navigator depending on what you want to look for. Um, but in Instagram, it's, there's that bottom navigator that's always there on every single page. And so we're going to use that to uh, to get our from page to page on our home screen to all the other screens. So first thing we're going to do is do yarn add react that navigation. Now, depending on when you're watching this, uh, the version 3 just came out last week. Um, so there are a few breaking changes if you were to upgrade from version 2 to version 3. Um, I even did sell that app in version 2, but we're going to do version 3 for this one because who knows when you're going to be watching this next week, next year, two years from now, whatever. Who knows if people are still using React Navigation by then. Um, so now we have React Navigation installed, and you can see that we have React Navigation. See, so we have 3.0.9. So if you just do yarn add React Navigation, it'll do the most up to date one, or you do specify a version and pick one of the 2.01. But I, I recommend just doing the most up to date one. And in order to get that running, we're going to use this example right here. So what this does is it, uh, Create, it's an example of a tab-based navigation. So we're just going to copy and paste all of this, not the whole screen, but this. And we're actually going to create a folder called navigation. And in that folder, we're going to save a file called tab navigator.js. And in here, we're going to paste this code. So what this is doing, it's actually creating components in the tab navigator screen. But we've already done that in our screen. So we just we can remove these and just import the ones we've already created. So the way we're going to do that is just import home from. So we're going to do. You have to get out of this folder, dot dot navigation, go into screens, and then pull in the home.js. So we're going to do this for the search as well. So we can just change the name from search. And now we have two screens to use. And instead of the home screen, we're just going to use home. And instead of settings, or do search and then search. So this value has to match up with this one and this is the name of the actual page within the navigator. 
And then if you're using, if you use version two before, this is the difference between version two and version three. Before, it would just create a top level, create bottom navigator. Um, so that's all you need to do. Uh, but we actually need to wrap this in a create app container now uh, in order to be able to use it. I'm not entirely sure why they made that change, maybe for some more flexibility uh, if you don't want it to act a certain way within different pages. Um, but that's necessary for to start using right now. So now instead of importing in our app, instead of importing this home screen, we're going to import tab navigator from navigation and then tab navigator JS, tab navigator, and then reload. So now you can see on the bottom we have two different tabs for home and search and it goes to both of those pages of home. Now this is the one we created and then search, this is a new tab we added. So we could keep adding tabs to this tab navigator and let's add in our activity. And we'll reload. And now we have three tabs at the bottom, all going to each page. So that's our first use of React Navigation in our Instagram app with the bottom tab navigator. In next episodes, we could add an icon to that so it just doesn't say text. And we could customize that to highlight whether it's on that page or not and change the styling of all the tab navigators.